I'm going to be taping a monthly check-in tarot spread today. It's featured on my website, the Tarot Parlor at Tarot Readings with AmethystRain.blogspot.com. You can purchase your own personal monthly update um, reading. This is a general reading, more just for the for the energy that's out there. I'm sure it'll pick up some of me and some of who's listening and some of who's in the house and some of the energy out in the universe, but we'll just see what comes. This will be for the upcoming month of August. So, so let's see what August has in store for us with the monthly check-in tarot spread. And the first set of cards will be for your current self. Interesting. Your current self. I'm going to spread these cards out here. We're going to draw three cards for each position. I have a puddle of cards on the floor right now. Okay. First set. Oh, three of cups reversed. The party's over. Queen of Pentacles, uh, picking up, grounding oneself, centering oneself after a period of frivolity or a period of, of uh, chaos or a period of activity and a flurry, settling down again. And Two of Swords, new decisions to make. New decisions to make. We're going to take and look at these cards individually. Let's see what else we can get from them. <clears throat> uh, someone is still hanging on. You'll notice the character to the right is still hanging on on to the to the center person. Uh, uh, there's choices to be made. There's uh, some of us will have to decide who to hang on to. Um, and keep in our lives and who to release and let go, who to uh, set barriers for, who to avoid, uh, who to cut from our inner circle, um, where to cut ties and what ties to keep, decisions to make. I just feel like lots of decisions, decisions and big decisions too, decisions that will um, affect a, a good portion of um, life going forward. Queen of Pentacles. Let me reflect. A uh, few different things. There's someone that's just tired of all this drama. They're kind of kind of glad that decisions have been made. Things have been hanging in the air for a long time. And once decisions are made, everyone knows their place and everyone knows how they will go forward. So so plans can start to be made and and um, foundations can start to be laid. Um, also, um, as a, <laughs> there's like a few different scenarios. So, oh, okay, there's somebody here too that's really tired of the whole crap and they're just very happy to step away. They're happy things have finally um, been decided, um, that um, choices have been made. They're, they're, the feeling is just someone who is happy to step away from chaos and just kind of regain a sense of serenity and self. It's like enough of this bullshit. I will cocoon myself in my own little world and have my own thoughts and do my own thing and um, live my life. So there you go. Two of Pentacles. Um, again, there's like an end to this this chaotic frenzy, a, a chaotic frenzy. You know, there's three, three uh, individuals on here too. Well, the ravens count as living things. Three entities on here just going at each other. So that comes to an end. And this is a card of decisions. Decisions can be made when the chaos and the noise dies down. Chaos and the noise dying down. That is your your current self. Your current self is um, happy to um, reclaim peaceful, um, serene energies, to uh, step back from a chaotic, disturbing, frenzied, problematic 
situation. So that will be our current selves in August. Okay, theme of the month. Hmm. Now these first three cards told us a lot, so what more can we have going on here? One card, two, three. Okay. Oh. Ace of Wands reversed. Uh, uh, tired of thinking. Someone who's just tired of thinking. <laughs> They're tired of thinking about something in particular. They just want to relax the mind. Uh, three of Wands. Um, someone who is um, tired of waiting. The waiting's gone on too long. Um, also the threes. Three party situations, three choices, three decisions, three opportunities, three people, um, whatever this happens to be for your life. But but the waiting, the waiting has come to an end, or if it hasn't, it's going to very soon. It must come. Oh. Death or rebirth, big changes ahead. Um, whatever is going on for, for this scenario for these cards will bring huge huge changes. This can be changes in relationships, it can be changes in jobs, it can be changes in locations even. The choices and decisions that are being made now may be so big that that someone's moving, people are moving about, um, moving in and out of, of homes, moving um, cross country, moving um, wherever. Moving on, <laughs> the phrase moving on is what I heard in my head. Okay, let's look at each card and let's expand on this theme for the month. Oh, I think I think the very theme for the month is that after after a period of chaotic mental um, a fracas where that goes along with um, everything we've talked about, as the first impression of this card, it's just you want to find peace. And let's find peace and let's calm down and let's not think too hard and let's not have to ponder on huge big issues. Let's just take little things, little things one day at a time and let's find mental peace and clarity again. That's going to be um, the main theme, I believe, of this month. Look at each individual card. There's uh, someone, someone has a really fixed, um, almost an obsessed, um, uh, what is the word I want? Someone who is obsessed with someone or something, and it feels like a someone to me. Someone who's obsessed with the situation, they can't stop thinking about it. They are fixated, and it's someone um, with tunnel vision, and and uh, they need a release from this. Um, they, this card came up reverse. They need to release from this. They need to find ways of moving on. They need to find ways of training their mind and their brain to think of other things, to be able to move on mentally, to be able to um, release an obsession, release a fixation, to find other things in the world to center their life around. Oh, when all is said and done, someone's going to look inside. Someone's going to look inside, and uh, once they stop obsessing, and once they find a way to move on from whatever it is that is is keeping them feeling trapped and 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 uh, whatever it is, um, they're going to be amazed at uh, a new expansive world that will open up. They'll be able to have a lighter uh, mind. They'll be able to. Um, intellectually move forward. They'll be able to feel things, experience things, uh, try new things. They'll be able to see the world from a whole new perspective, a whole new light. They're going to wonder, why did you live so long with your head in the sand? Why did you fixate so much on this one uh, person, this one obsession, this one situation? Um, and life is passing you by as you're doing that. You have to learn to release, let go, and uh, if everyone else wants to stay stuck in the mud and stay in um, in a 
negative situation that's going nowhere, let them. But you can move on. You can move on. There's so much out there in the world to see and do and experience. And and don't don't um, allow anyone to freeze you in an unpleasant situation, an unpleasant frame of mind, and an unpl unpleasant relationship, an unpleasant time slot. It's almost I have the feeling what's going through my mind is like something that is frozen in time. And don't allow anyone to do that to you. You want to move forward, and that's what will happen. Okay. For the third position in this reading, key goals. Hmm. Okay, what are goals for August, peoples? I bet there's lots of goals out there if there's lots of peoples listening to this or the three people that might find this. I don't. Okay. Queen of Wands reverse. A key goal is to, to rediscover enthusiasm and passion for something that you may have dropped from your life for a while, that you may have stopped pursuing, to, to refine that passion and for something. Um, a, another key goal, Five of Swords, it's to move on from unpleasant situations, from chaotic conditions, um, from situations or people or relationships um, that um, that will hold you and bring you down. Moving on, moving on, finding a way to move past things. That's another key goal. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. New financial adventures and opportunities for a lot of people. Key goal, starting something new, starting a new job, starting a new business, um, learning a new trade. Uh, finding a new way to um, enhance your finances. Okay. Now we got to see what each card is going to tell us here. <sighs> oh my God! For some of you, uh, for some of you, it's going to be like a rebirth, and for others, it's going to be like this passion and this desire to to uh to do something that had died for a while because of a situation you were in or a connection that you were you were tied to it's going to be like that passion was always there it was always under the surface you just had to uh, step away from something to reclaim it to regain it to refeel it okay um uh, okay, key goals, leaving something, someone, a situation, a job, a relationship, an individual, um, a particular unique circumstance to you, leaving behind something um, that, was, that was just bringing you down mentally, um, that was dominating your thoughts, dominating your time, um, taking all of your energy. It's being released from that, and that, that's just... The main gist of this card that what's that's what this card wants to tell me oh um the one thing i'm hearing coming through my mind right now is is learning to dream again um learning to dream um learning to have goals um you know desiring goals being able to think of things you want to do and how to move forward it's um the words keep racing through my mind over and over again learning how to dream again when you when you get rid of everything over here that we've talked about that's the end result and the key goal for this month is learning how to dream again well the next one's going to be really interesting the next set of cards are going to deal with obstacles to overcome and i'm I, we've already i think covered a lot of the oops so obstacles to overcome Knight of Cups, obstacles to overcome. <laughs> uh, for some of you, it will be um, uh, being perplexed at how to begin a relationship or how to make a new connection. And um, for other of you, the obstacle is going to be how to leave this Knight of Cups, this knight in shining armor behind and move forward successfully on your own. So two totally different scenarios, but there's a lot of very different people watching this. So there you go. The energies are there for everybody. Seven of Cups. 
overcome, obstacle to overcome, oh, just not being able to make a decision, not being able to make a solid decision and stick to it. Um, that is an obstacle. You're just, somebody is too wishy-washy, somebody keeps flip-flopping back and forth between opinions, between feelings, between uh, partners, between jobs, between they're just flip-flopping. It's like make a decision and stick to it and that's going to be a huge obstacle to overcome. Too many things to think about, too many decisions to make, need a backbone. Obstacles to overcome, eight of pentacles. Um, finding out how you can move forward. Um, I'm thinking of this Ace of Pentacles here. This is like a learning a new trade, learning a new job, being trained, finding different ways to um, work in the work world and make money. And for some of you, new opportunities um, are going to come about, but it's going to require some effort from you to expand your knowledge, to, um, to put forth a, a, an effort and energy to create this and 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 some of you may bucket this some of you may think oh, it's going to be easier than it is oh we can you know some of you are going to find it tough some of you are going to think oh, my, i maybe i can't do this maybe i'm not smart enough maybe i'm not um the right age maybe i'm too old maybe i'm too young and um so there's going to be obstacles of oh, what's the word i want obstacles of your own ego um, your self ego to overcome you're going to have to put put in effort and energy and know that you can you can okay uh, the fifth position in this spread is major accomplishments so hmm what's going to be our major accomplishments in august is it going to be a good month for us Okay, next set of cards. Oh, Nine of Pentacles, major accomplishments. Nine of Pentacles. It's going to take a lot of effort because she's upside down. But in August, you will reach a place where you are finally happy with yourself and satisfied with with where you're at in life, whether it's with a relationship, with a job, um, with your education, with your personal, something very personal and unique to you. If some of you have had physical or mental challenges, um, you're going to finally reach a plateau where you feel good about yourself and where you're at and what's happening. So that's one of the major accomplishments. You're reaching for things too. You're, you're reaching for things that you never thought were attainable before, and you're going to find out that they are with a little effort and a little self-confidence. There is so much um, can be attainable. Four of Cups. Uh, Four of Cups reversed. Your major accomplishment is finally going to be facing and taking care of something that's been a thorn in your side for a long time. Something that's been like the the dead horse in the room and you know and you're going to face it you're going to um you're going to find a resolvement for something you're going to take care of something that needs to be taken care of that's going to be a major accomplishment and it will also improve your life no end you will like be able to move on and not think about it and it will not be restricting you in any way anymore major accomplishment ten of cups a major accomplishment is a is a happy and satisfactory home life, um, peace and abundance, and just being able to um, to have a serene home and and everything seems to fit into place, and you're happy. You're happy. Happiness, happy home life. Another major accomplishment. Um, let me see. Those cards just seem to speak for. Well, oh, okay. Well. In your major accomplishment, um, as some of you may find um, an unexpected bonus, an unexpected surprise, um, an unexpected uh, connection. Oh, uh, also, this card is telling me the same thing. Um, I don't know where this is coming from. Never got this from this card actually before. It's this hand down here, another, an unexpected connection. Uh, I believe this is an unexpected human connection. So whether a new friendship, a new relationship, just an unexpected connection. That's also, that's that's what this card is all about too. And that's all that 
I'm sorry, that's all that these cards are telling me uh, for any extra information is an unexpected connection, which will also be a major accomplishment. We're going to move on to the, oh, the sixth position in this spread, what to avoid. This is always interesting because some of us are not very good at avoiding what we should avoid to make our life happy and simple <laughs> and smooth. Okay, what to avoid? Ooh, the fool. Uh, avoid rushing in, making rash decisions without thinking about the consequences or without having any plans. And don't allow someone else to rush you into making decisions and, and rushing into having plans. Don't allow someone else, don't allow someone else to push you right off the cliff. So, so, oof. no, no foolhardy, impulsive, actions or decisions. Avoid that. Page of Swords. Oh. Avoid being influenced or listening to people who may be feeding you false or negative information or or um, feeding you feeding you mentally um, Things that, that impair you, things that um, impede your progress. Don't allow someone uh, to lie to you. And, and also, this goes both ways with this card. Truth. Um, truth. What to avoid? Avoid um, communication that is questionable, deceptive. Um, uh, communication that is nothing but negative it is there's nothing about it that's going to improve your life it's not going to tell you anything new it's not going to um, enhance your life in any way whether whether someone is giving this information to you or you are giving this information to someone else this this communication works both ways so oh gosh i don't know how to say this without I don't want to offend anyone like oh, like we can't lie it's it's like it's like um sometimes we say things to people or we we criticize people this can also apply to criticism too um i think this card is just um what to avoid um communication that you haven't thought out um communication that um you have to think about the consequences to it communication that might cause problems for you down the line um, of whether coming from you or, or being listened to from someone else. So what to avoid? Unpleasant negative communication that is doing no one any good. Oh, such if you have someone that always comes to you with gossip, that always comes to you with like, um, oh, the latest dish on people, you know, maybe that's not a good thing either. That's just a little thing that popped in my head. Avoid that. And, oh, Four of Pentacles. Um, a couple different scenarios. Avoid hanging on to something so tightly that you squeeze it to death. <laughs> whether it is an idea, whether it is a relationship, whether it is um, um, a stubborn energy that is preventing you from listening to good advice or um, preventing you from doing something that you know will benefit you or or being afraid to give away something. This can be your emotions too, not just physical things. Hanging on to something so tightly. Um, being afraid to open up to people. Being afraid to um, put yourself out there. So that is something to avoid as well. And I just, I don't think these cards have anything else <clears throat> to say. Yeah, we'll go on to the next position. What to embrace? Well, this is a fun one. What to embrace? Let's see. What should we embrace? I don't know about other readers, but I have noticed these longer readings from my energy drains. If there's any readers out there watching this, what do you do during these longer readings for your energy? It's like my brain is like, oh, I'm done now, but we're not. Oh, okay, what to embrace, what to embrace. Oh, four of swords. Um, embrace some some relief, some time down, down time. The four of swords is all about rest, recuperation, um, stepping back to regroup. 
So embrace this. Embrace some, embrace some alone time and a time to um, just relax and um, regather your thoughts and regroup. Embrace that. Seven of Pentacles. Ooh. Embrace all the new things coming into your life, whether um, uh, monetary things, uh, people, opportunities, relationships. Embrace and take care of what you have. Um, it's a blessing. Count your blessings. That's that's what the voice in my head is saying. Count your blessings. Um, embrace that. Oh. For anyone who may have some new communication with new people in your life, whether, whether just friends or a new relationship or um, some other new connection, a, a, a reconnection with an estranged person, whatever it is, embrace the loving, open communication that's going to be coming through to you, possibly from an unexpected source, something you didn't think about but or expect. So embrace it. Okay, the eighth position, where to find support. Where are you going to find support for comfort, for advice, for companionship, for all those things human beings need? Hmm. Four of, oh, two of wands. Some of you will find it in a partnership. You will find support with your with your partner. Some of you will find support um, within yourself by releasing um, releasing a feelings of guilt, feelings of responsibility for something you weren't responsible for, um, for releasing yourself from something that makes you feel. Well, I already, I already used the word guilty. Yeah, it's, and that's just the word. I even see it. I see it in white letters on a black background in my head. Does anyone else do this? Uh, guilty, guilty. So um, where to find support? You'll find support by releasing yourself from um, guilt that you shouldn't be carrying or guilt that should have been resolved by now. So in a sense you'll find support within yourself if you look really hard and you're really strong. Uh, some of you will find support through friends, through someone who is who is willing to stand up and fight for you. You'll find um, support in someone who possibly you have known for a long time and they know you really well and you know that they have your back. For some of you, it may be someone new that comes into your life, not necessarily a romantic relationship um, related thing, but just a friend, someone who you may feel like you are a kindred spirit. You... Um, like the same things, you think along the same lines, and that will be a very supportive person for you. Some of you will find support by setting up boundaries, actually, and keeping people out who tear you down. They do the opposite, but some of you will find your best support by setting boundaries and stepping back. Does that make sense? That sounds so oxymoronish, <laughs> but but uh, you know what I mean. Um, oh wow, the boundary thing is just um, a very um, significant. It feels like with this card, it feels like someone who um, is in a toxic relationship or a toxic family setting or a toxic friendship, and you need to really step back and you you are supporting yourself and your own growth. Do you realize that um, that a couple different cards um, related to finding support within our own self? We always look outward for support from people or or groups or therapists or you know somebody else out outside of us 
to um, support us and help us through things. But actually, a lot of us have a lot of internal strength and a certain knowing and a certain wisdom. And sometimes we are our best support. No one knows us like us and no one can know how we feel about a certain situation or relationship or, or individual, you know. There you go. Um, so the last position for this spread is actually advice and encouragement. Oh, what are we gonna get? One. Uh -huh. advice and encouragement oh the moon <sighs> live the truth speak the truth um, don't accept lies for truth this is all about the truth and and uncovering deception being clear and transparent and open because if, if, if anyone slips back into this mindset into the darkness of the moon uh, it will cause problems so your advice and encouragement be transparent always be above board Always speak the truth and um, listen for the truth and know the difference when someone's talking to you between the truth and, um, and lies. Uh, being able to discern um, honest people from dishonest people. Being able to discern honest opportunities from opportunities that are shady. Um, you know, just following a light path. Uh, follow the light. Stay true to yourself. Oh, huh. advice and encouragement. Things are things are going to look up for you in August. This is a card of victory. It's like uh, standing on the threshold and enjoying where you've where you've come, where you've come from. Enjoying your achievements. Enjoying um, how how you how you've improved your life in some way. That sounds really weird. I have I have like two or three different things running through my head at the same time, and it sounds like two or three different people all talking at the same time. Let me look at this card. I'll be quiet for a moment. Oh, it's like hitting the spotlight. It's like having come through uh, something, whether job related or you know anything else that's connected. But it's like someone finally um, getting. Um, accolades, someone finally um, being praised for um, for a good job, for you know being who they are, for for their accomplishments. It's like aha! Uh -huh. It's finally appreciating yourself too. Also, it's not egotistical to appreciate yourself and to feel good about about where you're at and what you've accomplished. It's an aha moment. Enjoy the aha moments. Uh, it's like uh, it's like aha moments you see in those um, weird little um, singing competition shows, like America's Got Talent or Brit's Got Talent, whatever those things are. And this mousy little person comes on the stage, and everybody's ah, rolling their eyes and yawning, and then they open their mouth, and this incredible voice comes out, and it's jaw dropping, and it like it's it's an aha moment for this person. That's kind of the analogy for this card. Someone is going to have an aha moment. Yay. On the last card, King of Pentacles, advice and encourage, stay grounded, stay in control. Stay grounded, stay in control. Oh my gosh. Stay loyal. Stay grounded, stay in control, and stay loyal. Um, loyalty seems to be the word flashing in my head. 